Just like on Windows, when you first install XAMPP on Mac OS X, your administrative root user password for MySQL will be set to a blank string. Later in this course, I show how to change this from the command line, but XAMPP provides this capability in a special command. I'll demonstrate first that I can go to the XAMPP website, and from there, I can go into PHP My Admin and I don't have to provide a username and password. Now, I'll show you how to change the root user password. I'll go back to the home page and click on security. The table shows four possible security conditions. And in all cases, the initial installation is unsecure. I'm focused on this one. The MySQL user root has no password, and you really should set a password and in some lynda.com courses, you'll need that password to follow along. In order to change this on Mac, you'll need to go into Terminal and run an application called XAMPP Security. So I'll go to Terminal and I'll switch to Applications and from there to XAMPP and from there to XAMPP Files. Next, I'll run the XAMPP application but I'll run it as super user with sudo, then dot slash xamp, then security. And now I'll go through a series of prompts. First, I'm asked about my xamp pages. Do I want them to be configured for security? And I'll type n for no and then return. Next, it asks me whether MySQL should be locked down so it can't be accessed from requests other than from the local machine. I'll say, yeah, I want to turn that off. It'll stop my SQL, make the configuration change, and then restart the server. Next, I'm asked about the password for a special user named PMA that's used by PHP My Admin. I'm not going to set a password for that, but I am going to set a password for the MySQL root user. So I'll type Y and press return. Then I'll type in the password. Then I'll press return and type it in again. And now my root password has been changed. Finally, I'm asked about my FTP server, and I'm not using that capability in my installation, so I'll say no. And that completes all of the prompts. Now to test this, I'm going to close my browser, and I'm going to close it completely, so I make sure to get rid of any cookies that might be in memory. Then I'll return to the XAMPP control panel, I'll go to the XAMPP home page and I'll go to PHP My Admin. And this time I'm prompted for my username and password. I'll type in the password that I provided and click go. And now I'm in again. I can now manage my MySQL installation. Now, again, you don't need to use this capability if you don't want to. You can follow the instructions I provide later in the course for changing the root password from the command line. But this approach is a little bit faster and easier, and it's a unique capability that XAMPP provides.